Hello, welcome to Mr. Macrame. So here I'm making a jelly fish on the request. So this one, for this one, I have taken um, twisted macrame, which is like a three ply twisted macrame, and it is three mm thick. For this one, I like to start with. I have taken a five meter cord to, and I have folded this cord in a sense that one side is. Um, two meter and one side is a uh, three meter so that I can start so that the, the three meter side I will be using to uh, make a circle ar uh, around circular line with uh, around it so for next one uh, for the next step I have taken <coughs> four meter cords and started adding like this which is a lark head knot so I am uh, using lark head knot to add the cords here i've added two cords as you can see so now i am that loop uh, that folded loop so i'm taking the out this uh, left outside the car side through the loop to make a knot and give it a circular shape So here after tightening all this I what I what I did just bend it down and uh, taking the bigger side which is uh, uh, three meter as I said I'll be using it uh, to make a circular lines around it for the jellyfish so I am now choosing uh, the longer side and So as, is, as you can see here, this is the longer side and I'm taking this longer side. So I have taken, I have folded it around, around the cords and I'm using the left cords to make a double hitch knot on this um, longer cord, which is, which I will be calling a uh, filler cord. So I'm making the double is not on the filler cord using the rest of the uh, cords and I will be also adding the cords which will be two meter long so if there is a big space in between and while I'm making the circle so I'll be using um, two meter cords to fill that uh, fill that uh, space and uh, I will use the lark head knot to uh, add those cords as I mentioned in the beginning the same way I'll be adding the cords So here you can see there is a big space and I have to add um, cord so to fill it up, for to fill it up so I have uh, added one cord using the lock head knot here as you can see here.
so now again there is a space so uh, what I am doing I am adding another chord and uh, making uh, using lurked knots and then I am trying to make a double hitch knot uh, out of a lurked knot as you, you will see because there is a bigger space and I don't want to add two chords here uh, to fill it up so what I will do I will just make a half hitch knot with the, these chords on both sides so that I can fill it up so if you see this one is a half hitch knot I am making and uh, as you can see this is a double is not now and so here I'm um, starting the other side half is not as I may only did the other uh, one side so I'm also doing the other side because I as, as, as I mentioned that the the space is real big so to fill it up I am trying to make a double hitch knot with the with the cord with the new added cord so that I can fill the space and make a, a proper circle and then I am here now starting with another circle so I'm starting to tie the double hitch knot again so for the rest of the uh, tutorial you will be seeing me uh, doing the same process it's not some anything different so if there is anything different i will and uh, say what exactly i'm doing so um, uh, probably i will not make any more uh, double edge knot with the new added cords so they i will be just adding them using uh, lurkhead knot for going forward So as you can see I have um, uh, started making them uh, because I um, uh, like this I have I could I could have kept it uh, or flat but they didn't it the shape will not go as a jellyfish as I as my um, uh, request has asked me to so, the, so I'm trying to uh, give the same shape um, as I have been asked
so here I have finished four lines for four to five lines and I'm still continuous making the same thing so there's nothing different I'm trying to keep it like this so that I don't make the flat um, jellyfish I just give it give a bowl shape to it So here this is a seventh line or seventh or eighth line I'm doing as, and after this what am I going to do I'm just going to keep it flat so and why I will be doing that the reason is uh, because I want to create a space between the seventh eighth line or ninth line between the last two lines basically so now here as you can see I've kept it flat so as I am making the I am trying to tie the cords and make the another line next to it so it will create a space between um, uh, the the two lines and I'll be using that to make a design uh, you will see that what I'm doing to what I'm doing to that uh, empty space or um, gaps between tho those two cords or those two circular lines As you can see here I have uh, completed next two lines and um, uh, and there is a space between those two lines you can see so there is a little gap I mean if you want you can create a more design like this and it is not like uh, something very different so um, so I'm trying to make another I'm trying to complete this line and then I'll be completing a final line which is a bit different I will be showing and why am I doing that with no, uh, that way the final line so that also I will say So and uh, here this line why am I not making the similar way because I don't want to create any more space in the next line and because I just wanted a space between those two lines and then finish finish this uh, my jellyfish. So you can uh, I have completed a total 11 to 12 lines so you can make how much how many lines you want or how much big big jellyfish you would like all uh, everything I think depends on you how big you would like so and then and then I will be uh, just completing the last hanging part of it after finishing my um, the final part so for this here I will try to reduce some cords and um, while I'm reducing I will not be uh, uh, cutting the cords because I'm going to use those cords as as the hanging part of the jellyfish
so i have completed my uh, lines now i'm coming trying to make my final line which is uh, you can see so what i'm doing is taking the filler cord and the last tied uh, cord uh, which i had like last used uh, to make double hitch knot on my filler card so I am tying the neck with the next cord double hitch knot but on both of them as you can see the last tight cord I've, I've kept holding and then I'm making um, a double hitch knot on both of them and then what I'm doing is left one cord basically the um, the one I used from last tied one and then I'm taking next tied one and using uh, the next one to tie on both of them so i kept i will keep doing that however i uh, because in this the space between the cords is um, getting reduced so i will try to uh, leave some cords in between just like here i have not uh, reduced anymore yet so just if you can see that i'm just using next cord to tie the double is not on the two cords which is which, which are like the filler cord and the last tied uh, cords just like this one the the one i'm using now will be using for the next uh, next times and uh, the last time used will be reducing inside and it goes inside a bit you will see uh, and why i have done this way i why i have tried to make um, my final line like this side this type so so this is the reason because we want to uh, show in our jellyfish that our, our um, cords are coming from inside so this, if if you try to make your final line like this then you, uh, your sh shape of the jellyfish will look similar more similar to the actual jellyfish that that, uh, that the hanging part is coming from inside and if you see i am leaving this cord because there is not much space to tie double hitch knot so i'm i'm now using next one and leaving this one as you said and the last tied one together holding together the last tied one and the filler cord together and then making a double hitch knot so i'm trying to do alternatively so um if you see that one cord i have used to tie I will next one probably uh, keep inside or just simply reduce it and this one I I, all, uh, I am reducing it on every step and this one and like next one cord also I am reducing and holding the filler cord and the last tied cord. So this in this way I will just complete the whole um, circular line last final line or last line and then I will be uh, finishing my jellyfish and then I will uh, complete the hanging part.
so if you can see i have completed half of it almost all of it not half of it is the last bit i have you can see so the the cards now looks like they are coming from inside it's not it doesn't look like they're hanging on the side and um, and the la with the last bit what am i doing is making uh, the knot so as you can see this uh, this is just a new knot so i am uh, making two filler cords and uh, taking one uh, cord to make a um, design out of it so this is the simple design you you must have seen it's it's like a wrapping knot or just keep keep uh, tying it i don't exactly know the name of this knot but this is simple to make um, and this is quite easy as well as this gives you gives that swirl uh, uh, look in that uh, jellyfish so i'll be doing one of the swirly uh, hanging as well as one of the so i'm um, so one swirly hanging and one spiral in one hanging with the spiral knot spiral knot is quite swirly as well so i will be using spiral knot for that one well, I left as you can see in this one. I left uh, two cords and I started using one co filler cord. You can do either way. It it's gonna look nice anyway. So you, this this will also give a swirly look, and the uh, spiral knot will also give a swirly look. So these two uh, knots I have used for the you know, bottom part, and you'll see me doing um, with the multicolor cord as well. So which, uh, according to me, is giving a really nice look to this jellyfish. So here I'm using pin to uh, keep it secure and I'm trying to give you a like um, a very closer look how am I doing it and uh, yeah that's about it I guess I've done quite uh, quite in my in quite many of my uh, jellyfish this uh, this uh, swirly look and um, also the spiral knot look. So here I used the the cord in the uh, the cord uh, leftover cord in the in the jellyfish which were which were left uh, left over. So it couldn't complete really the whole part, and I didn't want to add the same color. I thought the half of the dip multicolor might look give a different look. So this is how I added uh, the another cord. You can also you, if you want you can also if you have like. Um, if you find that your cord is less to tie the knot then you can also use the same color but i wanted to use different color so i used here this way can see i have made the same color uh, certainly not with the same color as well as with the with the multicolor as well as you can see on the bottom there is another one which is um, uh, with a different color so 
and you can secure these ends with the using fabric glue however i have not secured i just got chopped them simply and um, uh, it still look nice so now here this is like a, like this is a filler cord is like all half a meter and uh, to complete the double this is uh, spiral knot on it i have taken the cord multicolor cord i have taken is almost uh, uh, two and a half to three meter so so that i can uh, like make this uh, spiral knot on this half a meter cord throughout using uh, so that i don't have to use um, any uh, i don't have to like add another cord on it so for half a meter uh, simply take a three three to four meter i think will be enough So this is what, what how it looks like and I, I just cut, cut the end and, and if you want you can use the fabric glue. Now what am I going to do? I am going to just uh, use um, multicolor cord and uh, finalize or finish my uh, design on the on the jellyfish top. So as you can see those are the, there are the gaps and then I am taking the I have taken almost a 2 meter cord and uh, using I'm using this hook this is a crochet hook and then I added with using lark head knot and then I'm uh, continuously I'm going to just uh, go throughout so they can like a two kind of design I'm using to but it's like a, you know, the first design is more uh, easily easy to fit because um, that was uh, just going through and uh, leaving some knots and cords like this one Uh, yeah so this is how it looks I uh, hope and uh, if you want to add any uh, hanging part on the top you just use uh, use the needle and a hang and make a hanging out of it uh, hanging out on the top and add it wherever you want you want to hang it uh, uh, in in your uh, wall hanging or you want to hang it in your wall just like that it is simply a wall hanging in itself so thank you so much for watching hope you like the video and um, if you have your any request just to uh, message me on instagram and please uh, share my channel like share and subscribe thank you so much